A general message will show, be strong and courageous. We all came into 2020 with high hopes, big plans. Amaro Gundo says this is a new decade. And we were all looking forward to great things. Amaro Pachamo says, Amaro Hope says that there's going to be great things in store for all of us. Uh, spiritually, physically, financially. But not long after the year began, as everybody knows, things turned a little bit, to say the least. I will look divano, I will look virus, and illumia. And most of us thought that Kachajela is in Daina, Sutina Kal Sugo. Some of us were saying it's going to come and go in a couple of weeks, but here we are, three months later. And we're still in the middle of it. Instead of getting better, it kind of seems it's getting worse. And unfortunately, because this has lingered on, a lot of people today is losing faith. A lot of people are losing hope. A lot of people are getting a little weary. But I'm here today to give you some encouragement. I'm here today to, to, to give you something to hold on to. Because if, it's, if you understand what I'm saying today, we all need, we all need some, some, some strength and we need some courage. And this courage and this strength is only found in one place. It's only found in the Lord. Amen. We need to keep our faith. We need to trust in God. Why? Because listen to me, please. We must remember something, that no matter what goes on, and no matter what we hear, and no matter what happens, God is still in control. Amen. Amen. He's still seated on His throne. He is the all-powerful, almighty God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And that never changed. Amen. Maybe our circumstances changed. Maybe the situation changed. But God hasn't changed. And let me just tell you something today. This God that we're talking about, He loves you very much. He loves you very much. And you are precious to Him. Look what Romans chapter 8, verse 31 says from God. What shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? That needs to give you faith today, Magaprao. Dejanez, because God is for you. And then verse 37 says this. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loves us. What a great promise. These are some of the promises that we need to hold on to. This is some of the things that we need to believe today, to put into our hearts today. Akakaladibaya will give us courage and give us strength. Now listen to me, we're going to get through this. I'm just here to tell you something, we're going to get through this. Because if God is for us, we're going to get through this. If God is with us, we're going to get through this. I'm believing that there's better days ahead. The Bible says there's great victory, overwhelming victory for us through Christ Jesus. Now today we're going to talk about a man in the Bible that will show us Joshua. He was second in command behind Moses. Most of you know his story. He was with Moses when God brought the Israelites out of Egypt. He was with Moses for 40 years in the wilderness when they were on their way to the promised land. But on their way to the promised land, after 40 years, Kassas Pangolo with Moses, something happened. And we pick it up in Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. I think someone told me. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, and you and all the people into the land that I am giving to them, to the people of Israel. Joshua's leader was dead. 
And through the Omoz help me now for Joshua. I cannot move all Moses. I cannot Joshua. It is your commission. So they pen up to I cannot so the bull take us. You need to keep going forward. He had to take the place of Moses. In Pachama Mugapram Mugapea, this was some big shoes to fill. You could only imagine what Joshua felt. I could imagine that Joshua was very afraid. He was probably very worried because I cannot. He had the burden now to go forward. And this is why in chapter 1 of the book of Joshua, in chapter 1, just in the first nine verses, be strong and be courageous. Now so many people are worried about courageous. Not to deter by danger, or pain. Not to deter by danger or pain. It doesn't mean not to be afraid. It doesn't mean have no fear. Be fearless. See, having courage or being courageous doesn't mean not having fear. But it means besides the fear, you still go forward. And please listen to me tonight. Listen to me what I'm telling you today. I know a lot of us are afraid. I know a lot of us are worried, but we still gotta go forward, Anudil. We gotta have courage and keep our eyes on God. I shall them in Because of the weariness, because of the heaviness, a lot of people slow down in their prayers. A lot of people slow down in their worship. A lot of people start slowing down in their obedience to God. Listen to me, Mugapra If there ever was a time we need to pray more is now. If there ever was a time we need to worship God more is now. If there ever was a time we need to be more obedient to God is now. So don't grow weary. Take courage and have strength. Because kachasa ibuchika mountain is to cause us to fear, to cause us to be weary. I think I shall ask you to do this. Now I just want to look at three reasons why Joshua could be strong and courageous. Three reasons. And we can apply the same truths to our lives. The same reason that Joshua could have had strength and be courageous is the same reasons that Jesus Magapram Magapia we can be courageous and have strength. Number one, because of God's promises. Because of God's promises. Verse 3 of chapter 1 says this. I promise you what I promised Moses. Wherever you set your foot, you will be on land I have given you. And in verses 5 and 6, no one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. For I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you or abandon you. Are you hearing this today? I hope you're catching this today. Odell Moto, I will not fail you, and I will not abandon you. In verse 6, Motope, be strong and courageous, for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I swore to their ancestors I would give them. Listen to me today. Joshua could have courage because of the promise that God gave. Amen. Now listen, Moses was dead, but listen to me, the promise wasn't dead, the promise was still alive. Amen. Listen to me today, circumstances could change, but the promise of God never changes. Amen. People can change, but the promise of God never changes. Situations could change, the world can change, but the promise of God stands forever. Amen. The problem of the and listen to me today. This needs to give you faith. This needs to give you hope. Because the promises of God never changes. We need to hold on to the promise of God and believe what God says. Odell Pindah for Joshua. The promise I gave to Moses, I'm giving to you. You see, the promise kept going forward. And with the promise of because of that, we can have faith. Because of that, we can have hope. Because of that, we can go forward in courage. Because of that, we can be strong in the Lord. Because his promise never fails. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23 says this. Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirmed. 
For God can be trusted, hallelujah, to keep his promises. Thank you, Lord. I need to say this today. Man will let you down. Man doesn't always keep his promises. But one thing for sure, one thing I know without a shadow of a doubt, God always keeps his promises and he always does what he says. The Bible says that God cannot lie. He cannot lie with the promise of hell. That's why we can hold on to the promises of God. Amen. He is called the amen. When he says it, let it be, it will be done without a doubt. He never changes and he never fails. He has always been and he will always be. He is the great I am and you can always trust him. Thank you, Lord. Does everyone believe that? Amen. I hope you can type amen on the board today if you believe that. Amen. Say amen today. Tell God that you believe. Tell God that you have faith in him. Tell God that you, you know his promises are everlasting. Joshua could look back. Remember what I'm telling you today. Joshua could look back and his life with Moses. And he could look back and he called it the way God worked in the life of Moses. Every promise that God gave Moses, he, he, he did. God fed them while they were in the wilderness. God provided water for them. God was giving them manna every day. God would send fire by night and a cloud by day. Because every promise that God gave Moses, he kept it faithfully. And because of that, because Joshua was able to look back at the promises that God kept to Moses, he knew that God was faithful to keep his promises to him also. And my question today to you is this. I know you got some doubt today. I know you're worried. I know you got some fear. But I want you to look back on your life. Look back in your life. Was God faithful to you? Has God's promises come true for you before in your life? Was you ever in a situation that you thought you never was going to get out of? But somehow, some way, God made a way. I'm sure everyone that's watching today can say amen and say praise the Lord. Well, listen to me, please. If God did it before, He can do it again. If God was faithful before, He's never changed. He's still faithful today. You can trust Him today, and you can trust Him tomorrow, because He's a faithful God. Amen. We need everyone to say amen on that board today. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So He gave a promise. That's why you can be strong and courageous. Number two, Joshua was strong and courageous because of God's word. Because of a warba le devneski. Joshua chapter 1, verse 7 and 8 says this. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to do according to all the law that Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. I hope you're catching that today. Verse 8 says this. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Odell Penaf for Joshua. If you meditate on my word, you will be successful. So many of me to meditate on the word. What does it mean to meditate on the word? Does it mean just to read the Bible? Does it mean just to know the word? No, Mother Prabhupada, meditating on the word is much more than just reading it. It's much more than just having some head knowledge of the Word of God. Meditating on the Word is when you allow the Word of God to get in your heart, to get in your mind, to get in your life. Because listen to me, please. The blessing of the Word of God is not just knowing the Word, but doing the Word. Amen. You see, Odell Penapha Joshua, when you meditate on it, and you do what it says, when you apply it to your life, then you will be successful. Then you will be prosperous. Then you will see my hand in your life. good manus that are great Bible students. I'm going to say this today. There's a lot of people that know a lot of scripture. They know a lot of what the word says. 
but they don't do nothing with what they know. It means nothing, my problem of the path, if you just know a lot of scripture and you know a lot of doctrine and you can prove a lot of points. It means nothing. The blessing doesn't come from knowing it. The blessing comes from doing it. It's got a total chachi more than their mezco. Got a resca chahorba, I hazla, I traizla, and you put it into practice, and you allow this word of God to, to, to control your thoughts and to control your life. And when it fills your life, and when you do what it says, Antunchi di casa bosimos, asunsamodri de mezco. Let's stop reading the Bible to know the Bible. Let's start reading the Bible to know the God of the Bible. And to obey the voice of the God of the Bible. Get to know God by obeying Him. Amen. Listen to me, please. I didn't even say this. I check out about Imatsa, what I'm about to tell you. But I've been a Christian for 40 years. I've been a believer for 40 years. And in my 40 years of Christianity, I have not met a man. I have not met a person to tell me that they're sorry because they obeyed the word of God. I haven't met one. In 40 years of church, 40 years of ministry, in 40 years of Christianity, I haven't met anyone tell me yet that they're sorry because they obeyed the word of God. No, everyone that ever told me that they obeyed God's word, they were blessed for it. And listen to me today, please. Please listen to what I'm telling you today. You will never be sorry obeying the word of God. You need to obey God's word and trust what he says. I nadara, step out in faith and do so motole warbali devleski. Because God made a promise to Joshua. The promise was you will be successful and you will prosper. And that promise still stands today. You will be successful and you will prosper in every area of your life. You will have victory, overwhelming victory when you obey the word of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And then number three, why Joshua could have courage and be strong because of God's presence. Thank you, Jesus. God's presence. Joshua verse, verse nine, chapter one, verse nine says this. Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. You, Lord. Because of the presence of God, choir please, we're just about done. Because of the presence of God, the promise of the presence of God, Joshua could have courage and Joshua could be strong. No, Odell pinned out for Joshua, I will be with you. Ababa Dusa, Joshua. Nadara, I am with you, Nadara. And listen to me today. You and I have that same promise today, Maga I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be with you till the end of time, Otona Odell. But there's a step further today. Listen to me, please. You gotta catch this. This is very important. He told Joshua, I will be with you. But you want to know what he told you? You want to know what he told you? He said something even greater than being with you. He said, I will be in you. I will be in you. You see, it's not just God being with us. It's God being in us. And today, God is living in you. If you're a born again believer, if you're a Christian, if you make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, he's living in you. Look what John chapter 14 verse 23 says. Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. The presence of God is living in you. If you are a believer. And that same truth for the problem of the path. You can have courage today. You can have strength today. Because Odell Dusalo, I am the Tutilo. 
listen to me. You can accomplish great things. Why? Because you're somebody? No. Because there's a great God living in you. There's a mighty God living in you. You can have victory today because there's an all-powerful, mighty God living in you. You can overcome sin. You can overcome temptation. You can overcome bondages. You can overcome the work of the enemy because the Spirit of God is living in you today. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing will be impossible for you because God's presence, God's power is living in us. Joshua moved forward right in here. And he crossed over to the promised land. And he got to a place called Jericho. And Bachama He had to be strong and he had to be courageous. He believed. He obeyed. And he relied on God. And he saw the power and the blessings of God. And this same truth, these same principles are for us today. We need to believe. We need to obey. And we need to rely. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Believe, obey, and rely. And you will see the power of Almighty God in your life. You can take courage and be strong. Today, maybe you're weak in your faith. Maybe you're losing hope. Maybe you're growing weary. I pray today that the message you just heard has given you fresh strength and that you will take courage today. I want to pray for you right now that God will give you new strength. Mughadar, in the name of Jesus, I pray that for all of those, Mughadar, that are watching, that are losing faith, that they would know, Mughadar, that you have given us a promise that you would never leave us, never forsake us. You've given us your word, you've given us your spirit. I pray, Mughadar, in the name of Jesus, that you would give fresh strength to your people, Mughadar. Regardless of the circumstances, regardless of what's going on, 